So as we go through life and as we grow and get older, you know, we tend to learn and learn in different environments and in different aspects about diversity and about cultural diversity and racial diversity and um, all these things that go into those things. You know, and even today, uh, that concept is very, very important. You know, um, nowadays we um, are very, uh, we see it differently in a way because now the mixture that people have in their bloodline is more uh, acknowledged and it's more, I guess, appreciated and people look at it differently. If we were to go back 50, 60, 70 years, it would be a different story. You know, if you were half white, half black, or, or half European, half African, you would most likely be considered of African heritage. The Europeans would not accept you. And we know of that history, we know why. Um, and most likely, and a lot of it's still like that today, but it's, it's progressed in a way. Um, if you are, and guys, I want you guys to know that my computer is messing up, so uh, it's gonna be doing things like this. But let's say you're half African, half Asian, you know, you know, people don't, um, there's even problems with that. You know, the, there's still um, acceptance in a way in that, but then there's also still some pushback. However, we've gotten better with accepting people who are of different backgrounds. So nobody, a lot of people nowadays don't just go to one thing that, they're, that they have in their bloodline, but they go to everything. And that's better accepted, better acknowledged, and better taken by others. But there's also some people who don't under, still don't really understand diversity and still really don't understand a lot of things that go into that. So like we have, uh, and I've recently been seeing how, you know, we have a lot of African Americans who um, will be, um, let's say, 77% African and the rest European. And they'll say, well, you know, we are just African. The other blood doesn't matter. And I've made many videos upon this. I've made a lot of videos on this, but um, it, you know, I'm, I keep doing it for a reason. And it's because I'm teaching you guys about this and I'm opening your guys' minds to the true reality of what this is. And, um, you know, a lot of times when I watch those videos, I always look in the comments to see what people have to say. And I do see a lot of people re recognizing and telling that person, no, you're not just African, you're also European. No, you are mixed. You have a mixture in you. You are not just African. You know, what's that other 20 something percent? What's that other 30 something percent? You can't just negate that and you can't. You can't. You know, it, it, it's really, really, um, excuse my French or my language, but it's stupid to, to not except that it's really done you know i feel like we are in, we are in a time now we are in the year almost in the year 2020 this the, this con concept of slave blood this concept of you know i don't want to be related to europeans i don't want to be white all this stuff that's that needs to stop that's something that is it, it's old i'm sorry but it's old and there's probably people that are going to be wanting to unsubscribe from me for saying this, but it's the truth. It's old. It's very old. And it's now being used as an excuse, especially with genealogy, to be able to have, an, to have a reason to say that you're not this or to give a reason why this blood may not matter or this blood may have gotten into your system. The slave trade was a long time ago. I mean, it, it, it really was. I was just talking to my father and everybody about this. It was a long time ago. Now, now, the history with that will always be known, and it's always important to teach that. But the slave trade was a long time ago. We are about, we are literally about to be twenty years into the twenty first century. I mean, if if it was nineteen o two, nineteen sixty, nineteen hundred, 
I mean, I could understand the concept of slave blood and this and this and this and that. That's now being used as an excuse. It's now being used as an excuse because many times I'm pretty sure people have been told and people have told others that also during times of um, slavery or times of even just random, there were white women who were not, not being forced but going and mating with people of color because they truly loved that man. Or a, a, a man of color secretly went to mate with a white woman because he truly loved her. It wasn't all forced. It was not all that. So, you know, this concept that you're trying, that people are trying to use to negate the blood that's in their system is so, it's, it's, ugh. I just can't, you know? It's rubbish. It, it's, it's, it's true rubbish. And I can't um, say it even more, you know, the, these, uh, pro-black people, you know, and it messes up people's minds when you do that because it, it, it deters them how what people are supposed to be thinking about these, their DNA and getting their DNA tested and finding their origins and parts of their origins. You know, nowadays people are starting to be more recognizable of the fact that there are people who are mixed. And that people aren't just African. Europeans aren't always just European and stuff like that. We're starting to recognize that now. We're starting to recognize that, you know, in the Dominican Republic, that those people aren't just black, that they are mixed with all these things. And then in Puerto Rico, that majority of them are white or you are European, but they are also have African admixture. They have European admixture. Um, we know of course, constantly in America, we have these these people of African heritage who are mixed with the European. They have a high European percentage. Some some of that can link back to the slave trade. Some of that can just be mixture of one a love between two people, an African man and a white and a European woman, or it could be any it could be anything. You know. I don't even like saying the taking it back to the slave trade because that was so long ago. It was so long ago. And people love to use that as an as an excuse to why they have that blood in them. If you are 20% European, that's not the slave trade, baby. It's not. It's not the slave trade. If you are maybe 1% European, maybe that might be the slave trade, but also that could have been a relationship between somebody, one of your African relatives and a European relative at some point in time. It was not all forced. It was not all like that. So to use the excuse of um, that to deter yourself from your, 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 your bloodline of European descent is just beyond me. Um, but getting back to the actual point of this video, I, well, that is part of the video, but I'm not going to stay heavily on that, is that we are starting to really start to accept diversity in all different kinds of ways and acknowledgement of people of different backgrounds, people who are multiracial, people who are racially ambiguous because of that multiraciality, people who are biracial, and uh, not just African and European, African and Asian, African and Native American, African and Pacific Islander, African and Middle Eastern, African and South Asian, uh, European and South Asian, Asian and um, Pacific Islander, Asian and Native American, all types, all types of things, you know? And even with that comes differences because you could be Korean, Taiwanese, Filipino, all that mixed with Congolese or um, Guinea, I mean, it's different things that go into things like this. And, you know, you could be European mixed with um, Nigerian. You could be Italian mixed with Nigerian. There's so many things to this. And people are, they're not, it, people are starting to catch on to the diversity and the different types of people who are in this world and in the community. You know, back in the day, it wasn't seen that way. You know, people just really, we did have the one drop rule, but we also did have, well, if you if you got that African blood in you, you're African. Or if you look more European, then you pass as European, you know? So it's, 
it's this this concept of that people are now starting to change that ideal and go into a more um more uh, uh ideal that makes sense that is that is a truer ideal and that is that everybody now is is being more recognized for more of what they are acknowledgement of that acceptance of that and um being you know people taking them in you know a lot of europeans at first were not uh very accepting of that but now they they're they're starting to change their mindset because they're starting to learn of what they learn more about what they didn't know and i and before i end this video i've got a great example my cousin that I recently found, Jesse Council, was talking about on his, I can't remember what side it was on, but he is, my cousin Jesse Council is 14% English, and I believe, and then he's like 2% Irish, however, his great-grandfather or his grandfather uh, in like the 40s, one time I guess, he was walking into the store and there was a European man, I don't know, he may have been the English or the Irish side, and he said, was like, what's up, cousin, to the you know European guy, and the European guy at that time in the 40s was like, no, don't call me that, don't say that to me, don't call me that, even though that was his cousin, and at that time, it was not accepted, of course, but now, it's getting more more widely accepted now to this day i do still believe that the family the white family or european family that my cousin is related to is still in a way very distant and they don't want nothing to do with, with him and his family however um i do also believe well i do also know that not all families are like that and times are changing and things are starting to be seen in a different light and diversity is starting to be more um, ex more uh, acknowledged as that people are different and their mixture is a mixture and um, you can't negate it. It can no longer be negated or disregarded and it's something that will soon progress into majority of everybody doing this but we still got a long way to go and we've still got a lot of things to uh, work on. However, what I, I wanted to point out that there is a change happening and more people are starting to be seen as for what they are and not for what they, for what they are and not for what people assume them to be or tell them to be. Or more, in other words, society. Bye guys.